Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back with another segment of Radio Out of Control. Today we're going to do a finish up segment on the scale G30 axles that I had bought. And uh, I took a little extra time, lowered the truck down, and installed them. And I come up with a few tricks if you want to lower your truck and we're going to get to that in a second and here we go And we're back. Okay, for the, the last video I put up, I did a video on the G30. Um, they're kind of like a Soviet 6x6 six six truck. Um, I grabbed a pair of axles from it. I got the fronts and the rears because I wanted to do a scale axle and lower down the HGP 407 or your Bruiser, whatever you want to do. And uh, so I learned a few things. And I'm going to go over them with you. As you can see, it it sits down pretty good. I'm rocking the old Trailfinder 2 155s that came with the stock kit there. Because if you've seen my video last week there, I had some trouble finding um, wheels for it or rims for it. Um, I contacted the company. They said they sell the rims. They're 30 bucks a pair. And I can't find them. I looked on their site and everything, and it's just not, they're not there. I don't know if they mistakenly thought they listed them and didn't but whatever so what I did was on these here I'll whip it in here real close for you because I'm gonna tear it apart and we're gonna go over the scale hubs now you can see they look pretty wild on there you know they're and the, the nice thing that I wanted about this I wanted that look front and rear just like the stock trucks had back in 81 um, they had your lockout hub in the front and in the back they had like a heavy hub it was basically the same front hub because uh, the axle bolts in from the outside like on a truck all these bolts on the outside the axle slides in the hubs held on with a bearing and then the axle is bolted to the outside of the hub so this here is what the look I was looking for. And um, so now I'll tear the body off and I'll show you a few things. Actually, we'll look up under, underneath the thing here. Um, right now the body is bolted to the front of the truck. So it's kind of loose at the back because I didn't, because I want to take it apart for you. 
Now, as you can see underneath there, there's tons of room once you lower this thing down, okay? Like up in here, there's probably a good uh, two and a half to three inches to the drop of the frame, plus your your room up under your, your seat bottom there. So you can still keep your scale interior if you want to. Now, I did remove the front and the rear bumpers off the thing there so I could tuck this thing underneath the body. And uh, the only issues that I had was... And this is something that I didn't know, and everybody, was, <laughs> they're going to learn just like I did. Now, I've been messing with these trucks for years and years and years and years, okay? And they're basically all the same. And if you look up inside the front, okay, I'm trying to get close up on it right here in the axles. If you look up inside there, inside here, okay, the frame is actually longer than the body itself. To keep the wheelbase um you know pretty much correct dead center in the wheelhouses um you have to do a little trimming on the grill and i'm going to show you it's it's not a lot of surgery it's very simple and you know i never did like cutting any, these things out but hey it's an hgp 407 and there's a bazillion parts out there and i'm going to live life way i can and i'm going to get these ideas out of my head and share them with you guys because the mind's a terrible thing to waste okay you guys got any ideas don't go through life saying, I wish I would have done that. Go for it, you know. Hey, you screw something up, you can get it. You can always replace it. But you can't go back and do that idea that you you wanted to do after time's gone. And I'm trying to catch up with that now. But, anywho, so when I lowered it down, okay, like I say, it, I, I wanted to put in the front, I wanted the, the frame leaf springs to hang just down just like the real trucks do and if anybody's got one of these you can kind of look to see that the frame it hangs down just a little bit the leaf spring perches on the front and uh the way this whole system is set up on the thing even in the very back um try to get a good close up on that too if you see up in here is your shock rubber way up in there Okay, it does set inside that little wheel well, so you got room if you wanted to add shocks on the outside with your stock wider axle, if you wanted to do a different axle. But I wanted to do um, a total bone stock to have the axles and the wheels, you know, set inside, set inside the wheel wells, like on a real truck. So, like I say, the I think the back was 185 mil, or the front's 185 millimeters wide. The back was a 194 or something like that. I think from what I said in my last video. And you set the stock trough under two wheels on it. They set kind of right inside there. And um, so to widen the front just a little bit, what I did up front here um, on the trough finder two, they have your regular. 12 millimeter um, hex, okay? Well, I had some that were probably two or three millimeters wider than those, and I put those on the front, okay? And then I just, I, I'm rocking on the back of the Trail Finder 2 um, hub, okay? I got the, uh, the disc brake hub adapter that bolts to the thing, okay? And you can see in the front over here, there's my 12 millimeter hex. And I don't know if you can kind of get a, the width of it. That's actually a wider one there. It's not the real thin one that came with the trough under too. Okay. And um, so let's rip the body off this thing real quick. And uh, I'll throw the wheel back on it. And what I did was to clear the, um, the hub because like I say, the hub's pretty good size. I added two uh, four millimeter little washers in there to bring it off the lug nuts. And when you tighten it up, it stays away from the lug nuts and you can crank it nice and tight and you really don't see the space in there. And if you really wanted to get techno, you could probably paint those washers black, but you really don't see them. So let's take the front off here and I'll show you what I did. I drill two small holes right here, and where your bumper brush guard bolts on your leaf spring purchase, um, that's where I bolted the body on it in the front. So, 
simple. And I'm going to bolt the body in the back um, where that rear mount went, where your two uh, pins went. And um, take it off. You can see it, like, it sets right down in there, nice and tight. And when you remove it, you got tons of room. Now, the back, the cross member, if you eliminate that stand bracket, it'll lay right across here. You could probably put a couple of spacers here to make it flush to the frame and bolt it right to the frame. That's my old body off my other HDP 407. And this is a frame I got from the scale trail guy. And uh, he hooked, you know, he, he if you really want to get some parts, I'm going to do a video on this. Um, you know, if you don't want to wait, you know, a month or so for your HG parts to come, you can, this guy, he sells these things on eBay. He breaks them down and sells them. And <clears throat> it was a good deal on this because I got the, the full frame with the leaf springs and, uh, you know, the trailing arms, all that stuff. And I didn't get any shocks because he sells them separate too. So now on the front here, when you're putting the body on, you can see I have an experiment with shocks on this one. These are two, these are some really old ones. I don't even know what these are off of, but um, they're a little too fat to fit in here. So I just left them be. And um, so let's get to the front here and I'll show you what I had to do here in the front. Now, in the very front of this, right in there, you can see where the bumper bolts on, on both sides, okay? If you center it up and just take a little edge off that screw after you get everything bolted together and take just a section out behind the bumper down to this opening, the lower grill opening down here on the balance panel, the frame sets right in this area right here and it gives you that extra room to bring the, um, the frame forward so it sets you know so the tires are inside the the center of the wheelhouses you know when the thing's up in the air three inches or whatever two inches off the frame you don't really see that they're not centered and um, I've noticed that in the past that you know sometimes they just don't set centered but all right so now what I did on this when I put these rear ends in here um, I, I did the old, uh, leaf spring, you know, peel out the leaf springs and only use your main leaf on these, but the weight of the transmission, you're going to have to use two leaves, you know, just for the support. Cause if not, the thing's going to be, it's going to be banging up against the, the transmission all the time. And it's still pretty flexible right now with the two leaves in the front and I'm running a single in the rear. And uh, there's really no weight back here, but there's, you know, other than the body and there's going to be some radio equipment and a battery. So, but the flex, it, it's, it, you know, people, people probably done the videos on these things. There's, there's plenty of, you know, plenty of flex here that go back and forth. And um, so basically you can see how these axles fit in the front. You know, they're a little bit towards the center of the pumpkin. And, you know, your drive shaft is at a little bit of an angle. And the rear, you can see they, it is at another angle in the back, slightly off-centered for the back because the 6x6 six six has had another rear end behind this one. And the other drive shaft come down this way. So there's a real long shaft that goes by this one. That's why they off-centered it. Now, I didn't take off any of the accessories or nothing on this because I was just fitting it together for you guys to see. And, uh, but... Like I say, so far so good. Um, you know, the steering doesn't doesn't hit nothing. Um, I took off the the stock steering, and I I'm gonna put it in the front for now, and uh, you know probably do the uh, the front servo upgrade for a while because I got an idea for a steering mechanism that I've been working on for probably 20 years, and I haven't really quite found all the stuff. But like I say, that's the uh, you know the update on the frame um you know there's plenty of plenty of flex in this thing and sets the wheels inside so it'd be a pretty nice stock crawler spinning around the back so you guys can see the rear of it and i kind of like the rear ends in the thing because they're for they these are actually a 112 scale rear end and uh but they're for the big military truck and like i say what turned me on was the uh, the hubs because the hubs, 
you know they to me I, I i just love that old first generation hilux and blazing blazer look with the hubs and uh it was virtually you couldn't do anything with those they only had a one or two wheels that went with it and uh you know they're you know they're limited where this here you could just use this as your center nut with a couple of washers on most of your hubs and um I see now on eBay there's a few other wheels out there that I've kind of got my eye on that um, you know there are a lot of uh, there's one there's a stock set um, and they're real they're real heavy and uh, which is good for a crawler because you want the weight down as low as you can get it and uh, so like I say any questions comments feel free to hit me up you know um, one thing that I want to go over with you guys, I did I did take a couple of the shock um, spacers to put underneath the front of the tranny on the mount. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Um, just to bring up, you see the spacer I got right in there. Okay, just to bring the transmission up out of the way to give this rear end a lot of flex so the, um, you know, the drive shaft ain't going to hit the the transmission and uh but hope you like what i'm doing um i said i always want to do a like a scale update so i'm going to keep on this build and uh like you say the mine's a terrible thing to waste man so you guys got any ideas man go for it i've seen some wicked cool ideas you guys are doing um there's the uh Oh, the Bruiser HGP407 clone Facebook page. Those guys, they, I mean, these guys on there, like, I'm proud of what you're doing, you know. Like, um, very few people like to, you know, step outside the box, in other words. And they'll run their their truck in box art, you know, forever. And And the whole cool thing about today's world with so many different options and so many different ends and so many different wheels and different bodies you can personalize your rig to what you want so anywho like i say like share and subscribe if you want um tell your friends and i'm out of here adios